All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the equations by factoring. So here is an example. We have x to the fourth equals 9x squared. So what I'm going to do first is make the right-hand side 0. So I'm going to subtract everything from the right-hand side. There's only one thing on the right-hand side, so subtract 9x squared. And we have x to the fourth minus 9x squared on the left and 0 on the right. The next thing I'm going to do is to factor the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, we see x squared as a common factor. So we pull it out, and we're left with x squared minus 9. Uh, we're going to try to factor the left-hand side as much as possible. So x is x times x. Now x squared minus 9 is this is, this is a difference of squares, so we can factor it as 9 is 3 squared, so we can factor it as x plus 3 times x minus 3. So this equals 0. Now we have four factors, x, another x, x plus 3, and x minus 3. So now I'm going to use the zero product property. The zero product property says that if we have several things multiplied together, and if that equals 0, then we can say that one of those things equals 0. So now we have these four things. So we can say that either x equals 0, or x equals 0, this is second x, or the third factor, x plus 3 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0. So then this is one of the solutions, 0, x equals 0. The first two equations give you the same solution. The third equation here, if x plus 3 equals 0, you can subtract 3 from both sides of the equation and get negative 3 as a solution. And from the last equation, if you add 3 to both sides of the equation, we get 3 as a solution. So we have three solutions of this equation. Okay, now let's recap what we did for this problem. The first step was to make one side zero. And the second step was to factor the left hand side. And the third step is to set each one of these factors equal zero. We're, we're going to get several equations now. So set each factor equals 0. And finally, the fourth step was to solve each one of these equations. We're going to solve simplified, simplified equations. And then we're going to finally get the solutions. Okay, now I'm going to show you another example. The first step was to make the right hand side 0. So I'm going to add x and subtract 4 and do the same thing to the left hand side. So then we have x to the third minus 4x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0. Now we want to factor the left hand side. So we're going to use the grouping method and we're going to group the first two terms and then group the second two terms. So the first two terms have x squared as a common factor, so we pull it out, and then x minus 4 is left. The second two terms, x minus 4, there is no common factor between the two terms, so we're going to just leave them as, it, as they are, and instead we're going to put them in the parentheses. So by doing so, we come up with this common factor of x minus 4. So we're going to pull it out, pull x minus 4 out. And what's left? We are left with x squared for the first term. Plus what? Well, there's nothing. It's just there's only x minus 4, but we have plus 1 multiplied. So we have plus 1. So this equals 0. Okay, so now we have two factors, x minus 4 and x squared plus 1. 
So we're going to set each of these factors equal to 0. So if x minus 4 is 0, then we get the solution 4. OK, now the second factor, x squared plus 1 equals 0. This is quadratic equation. Uh, unfortunately, there is, it's not clear how to factor the left-hand side. But it is OK. There are many different ways of solving a quadratic equation. Like, for example, you could use a quadratic formula, or you could complete the square, or you could just take square root. If there is no x term, here we have x squared term and only constant term, there is no x term. This is the perfect situation where you can use square root method. So we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. Uh, we leave only x squared on the left and a number on the right. Then we take plus minus square root of the right hand side. So x is either plus or minus square root of negative 1. And square root of negative 1 is i, so this is plus or minus i. So we have three solutions, x is 4, i, or negative i.